Hello, we are going to talk about milestones in the project and how to use them in reports with the board or with the steering committee of a, of a project. So before to, to go ahead, let's recover and get back to where we were. So I'm back here to that project, which is the CRM project, which uh, first set of tasks, which are the initiation, a second set of tasks, which is the planning in itself. And after I have the part where we do really the work, which is the execution. Execution, we have a first part, which is selection, then system integration, then test and training. Once all that is done, we'll go to production. So, now about milestones. When you have a project, you will find at certain moments important events. Milestones are here to underline important event during the life cycle of the project. They can also illustrate key events in the course of the project. So, for example, here, we start the project from the ID, we discuss it, we do the project proposition and at one point there will be the approval. So for me it's always a good point to set the approval as a milestone. So how do I do that? I select the task here and I simply set for that task a duration of zero day. So you will see now what will happen here about the, the task. By setting it to zero day, it has changed its shape to a diamond shape, which means this is what we call a milestone. What I intend to show by showing the milestone is to say, okay, here is an important date. It's when our project is going to be approved. I will add here below in the planning another milestone because milestones can also be used for deliverables so what I will do here I will ins insert a task which is the plan in itself meaning I have a deliverable here which is a plan of the project so I entitled this just plan and once again the duration of this element I set it to zero day I will say that this will be done once we went through the planning session. So the predecessor is the number six. I will jump down in this project. In this project, it's an IT project in by which we will install certain elements. So at one point, I will put here in production the system. To do that, you see here that I already have set, I moved a bit away, ahead, I mean, with a task which is called in production. It's not a real task because it lasts zero day, so you will already understand that I have shaped here a milestone. By giving here zero day to a defined date which corresponds to the date by which we want to take the system into production, it allows me here to see the diamond symbolizing a milestone. Here it is the 3rd of November by which we must be into production. Um, sometimes the, there is a task that needs to be done before. It's to decide whether we are going to go on production or not. So in order to do that, if we want to be in production the 3rd November, it may be good to set the date when we are going to decide whether we go on production or not. And I propose that we set that date two weeks before. So in order to do that, I will do the, the following. I will here add a task. And I will call the, the task here um, the go for production. Go for production. Go for production, I will set it depending on the task, which is really the production day, which is the number 34. And what I will do now you will see that I will give a delay. 
So to do that, I go to the task information. I go to predecessors and you see here I have defined the task 34 in production as a predecessor. What I will set here is a lag of 10 days, but since it's before, it will be minus 10 days. So minus 10 D and we'll see what happens. Okay, now we have a task here which has been added, which is 10 days before the production. With that, I have now milestones on my line, on my planning. I have added also another milestone. I've done that. I won't go with you again through all that. We have here the processes, the tasks which are closing the project. At the end, there is one last steering committee, which is the project steering committee where we close all the project. I've set it also here as a milestone. Now, what I want to see, it's to add all those milestones to the timeline. For that, I will go and I will get the timeline. So here up, I click in order that we get the timeline. So you see that some of the milestones, I had already defined them and they are already set on the timeline as milestone. For example, here, the date when we are going to start into production is reported on the timeline and here the last uh, project steering committee is also reported on the timeline. Why do I do that? Like that, the members of the steering committee can understand uh, the, the important issues, meaning that this is the date of the production, this is the last time that we meet about this project. So how can I do that? How can I add elements to the timeline when there are milestones? For this, I take here one of the tasks and I will go into information about that task but this time into general information and you see here that I can ask the milestone to be displayed on the timeline so I do that and we see I will have to, to move the, the window through which we, we see the actual situation we see here I've added the plan so I have here the dat date when the plan has to be given set on the timeline. I will also add another one which is here the project approval so it's exactly the same operation I just have here once I went into information to say okay display it please on the timeline so you see that I have two things which are really close here. One is the project approval that I can have and slide on the side. And the other one is the plan. So you see also that I can adjust those uh, things here. So you see that I have the important points into my uh, timeline. And I could like that add all those elements to the timeline. What I can also do it's to add a milestone not only to a date which is of um, zero day but I can also add some milestone to a task for this I select the task and what I want to say it's that I would like to have a milestone when I'm done with the integration here so to do that I double click in order to go into the um, task information and I will set it as a milestone. And you see here in the advanced dangle, in the advanced window, in the advanced tab, I have here below mark task as a milestone. So I'll do that. Click now on OK and we'll see what happens. You see here that the complete duration of the task has been removed by one milestone at the end of the task. So 
let's now report this maybe also on the timeline we go to general and then display in timeline we'll see the milestone so with that we have a timeline where we can see project approval a plan has to be delivered on the 25th of August we have here the end of the functional tests which are scheduled for the 14th of October will be in production the 3rd November and we have the last committee here by the 26th November you might say wait a minute when do we take the decision to go into production you are absolutely right when do we take the decision to go into production so we'll see this on this panel and I just add here go to the timeline so like that I can summarize that we have defined now project approval a plan has to be delivered we'll finish the functional test by the 14th October the go for production will decide on the 21st of October and we are in production from the 3rd of November and we'll close the project by the 26th way with the milestones to present the important event into your project to the steering committee with this diagram what else can I do I can also use milestones into reports into reports I have here reports about what is in progress and you will see here that I have a special report about milestones that pro report about milestone is telling us the following things first of all are we late are some milestones past due for our situation it's not the case which are the upcoming milestones in the coming months first of all we have the project approval we have the plan which will be delivered we have the date of the functional tests when they should end and the GoPro production so this is the information that the milestone report is going to to help me to to do I have now moved a bit with the tracking of the project I have set my project date to the 9th of October and said that all the project went well till then if you want to to see how we can do the tracking you can follow the video about tracking a project the bars that are here into the task they say that those tasks have been completed so till that date of the 9th of November I told to MS project that all the tasks were completed I've done that in order that we can see now in the report what happens to the report about the milestones we will see here that there is a change in the sense that we see that there are now completed milestones we see that the project approval was completed we see that the plan was also completed the ongoing tasks which are due next are the functional tests and the go for production by the 21st of October you see that this is really a convenient way to show to a board to a steering committee what has been accomplished as milestones what are the forthcoming one or the next milestones if you want there are other tutorials that you can follow all in all it's just fine so see you soon bye